What is going on guys? This is the BMC or Batman Minecraft Code back with another programming episode for you today. Um, second episode of the series. Today we're going to be looking at a compound interest formula for a lot of people are seniors this year and like to take personal finance. I'm a senior. I am not at personal finance. I am in pre-calculus. Doesn't say anything. Still use it. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Again, to make a new program, go to new, click new, call it whatever you want. You have eight characters here. Um, I already, obviously, already have this made, so you can call it compound uh, interest. I N T R. I don't know, something like that. And then go ahead and uh, make that. I already have one made, so I made this one in the last video. I forgot to mention who made that last program, but it's in the top of it there in a little bubble. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Pretty short. Um, doesn't take very much storage on your calculator. So here it is, compound interest formula. So let's go ahead and start this. So first things first, you're going to make a label, which is program and nine. Hit label and then label one. Clear home is program right and eight. Clear home. Um, zero store is P. The store button, I think I forgot to show this last time, is right here where it says stow. That's store. So you can go ahead and use that. So zero stores in P, zero stores in R, zero stores in N, zero stores in T. Okay, and then we have an input, which is program. Go right, and it's the first one, input. Make sure you put a quote here. And then amount invested equals quote comma P. Go down, new line. By the way, enter is a new line, in case you didn't know that. Input again, program right one. Quote, interest. Space rate equals D period. I put D period so uh, to make sure that it's in decimal form in case you forget. R um, input quote times compounded quote comma N um, input quote number of years space. Make sure you have that space otherwise it'll look kind of weird. Uh, quote T and then go to two. Go to is program and it's zero. Go to. Go to two. Here's label two. Pretty easy. We're almost done actually. Label program nine two. Clear home program right eight. New line. Output is program right and six right there. And then at one comma one comma p bracket one plus bracket r divided by n bracket bracket carrot which can be found I believe. Oops, sorry. If you go to, I think it might be in math. Wait a sec, what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. Oops, I need to go back into that, hold on. The little carrot symbol, which is right here, is just right here on your calculator, right there, that button, just click that and you're good. Which is basically raised to the power of n times t. Pause, clear home. Uh, sorry, pause is program 8, clear home, program right 8, menu is program C, menu right there, and then you're going to go quote, try space again, question mark, that's, that's optional, uh, quote, comma, quote, yes, quote, comma, 1, comma, quote, no, quote, comma, 3, label 3, pretty easy, program 9, and then 3, Clear home program right A and then stop is program. And if you go down to F, I believe, yep, stop. And that is the whole program. And I actually I didn't do any of these out, but this does work and I'll show you what it looks like here. I don't have any uh, equations for you right now because I didn't do any. But so amount invested equals let's say it equals I don't know twenty five hundred dollars. There you go, boom, okay. So interest rate in decimal form D, um, I don't know, let's say it's a 6%, so 0 0.06, it needs to be in decimal form. Times compounded, let's say it's compounded four times. And number of years, let's say it's over an eight year period. You can go ahead and enter, it'll calculate it out, and there you go, $4,025.81. It takes it out to four decimal places just to, I don't know, in case you need to round. Um, and then it'll bring up the menu, try again. If you hit yes, you can do it again. Let's do another one, say 5,000. Um, let's go 10% times compounded. Let's say it's compounded 
semi-annually, and number of years, let's do 10. Enter, so you go 13,266 dollars. And then back to the menu, if you hit no, it'll just immediately quit the program right there. So there you go. Um, that's the whole, that's all of it. So hope you guys like that video. I made this myself. Um, one other thing I want to show you before we go, if you hit second, then you hit the plus, it'll say mem, it'll bring you here, and then you go to number two, which is mem slash mgmg slash delete, and you click that, and then you go down to number seven, it'll bring up a, it'll say program, it'll bring up all the programs that you have, you see most of them might have a star by them, so if we go to compound interest, if you click this, it'll, it'll do what's called archiving, and basically what this does is it protects your program. So if we like quit out of that and we tried to go back into program. Let's see, what was it? Compound interest right there. We enter, it'll still bring this up. But when we go to execute it, it'll just say archived. Meaning you can't even do the program and it'll say error. And what's that? That's nice for is if you ever need to clear uh your memory make sure you archive your programs otherwise they will be deleted so i would go into second plus and then hit two and then seven and so you can archive your programs and if you need to use them then you could just go in here and unarchive un it and then quit out and you could use it right there boom whatever um, five times two years. There you go. Bam. And there's your answer. So nice, quick, and easy program. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Um, if you do, please comment, rate, subscribe, like the video. Uh, if you guys have any uh, wants or needs, or what do you want to see? See if I can program it for you guys. Um, yeah, anything. Just post in or comment in the video. See what you guys want, and uh, I'll see if I can do it for you and make a good program for it. I have a lot of programs, so see if I have it. If not, oh well. Anyway, guys, thanks for awesome watching this video. And hopefully you liked it and we'll use this. And I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later.